The House of Representatives has urged the federal government to suspend the Samoa Agreement amidst controversy over alleged LGBT provisions. The decision followed the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance sponsored by the Minority Whip Honorable Sani Madaki and 87 other lawmakers. In his motion presentation, Madaki argued that the agreement violates the nation's laws regarding LGBTQ and same-sex marriage. Though there were divergent views on the matter on the floor at plenary, lawmakers urged the House to reject the Samoa Agreement in all its entirety, as well as suspend its implementation, which was signed by the federal government on June 28th. I'm now worried that the signing of such an agreement with the aforementioned clauses, if true, violate our sovereignty and is a clear contravention of Section 12.1 of 99 Constitution as amended. Where the federal government is going into an agreement, by the provisions of Section 12 of the Constitution, the Parliament ought to be carried along. And if the Parliament had been carried along, these arguments, even from our people that we speak for, would not have been there, because Nigerians would have been better informed. The problem is that of lack of information. And as a Parliament, all we are saying is that we want to be satisfied that what the executive has told Nigerians is actually the true position of the facts. In fact, three ministers have come out, including information, budget and planning, in public to say there was nothing like that in the agreement. Go and Google your media. You will see the agreement, you will see it there. That it was never mentioned, it was never discussed. There is nothing like lesbian rights or gay rights. It is about human human rights, environmental protection, and trade agreements, period. Um, the first amendment, Mr. Speaker, is the need for Nigerian government to unsign and to withdraw from the unpopular Samoa agreement, and the need for the government to refrain from engaging in any such treaties that contravene the people's culture, religion, and unethical morals. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.